I wake up in the morning. After opening my eyes I check the time and I take a sip, a gulp, a bite. I turn on my screen and so I begin. I swallow the message from the night. I buy the notifications, comments and lives. I swallow the faces, their worlds and problems, which are the same. I swallow Gus, Celine's message and I can tell her from her pick. I devour all the stories from the women's protests and I don't process their pain. Their screams I just swallow and eat. I consume the rage, the cry and the violence with my eyes. My brain hurts but there is so much more to feed on. I feast on what my bubbles and chambers are serving. I bite the feminists' pain of their fight, which is never ending. I eat the Adobe ad and I eat the info about fire on swamps. I erase everything and everyone who doesn't fit. I eat, I bite, I devour, I swallow, I bite whatever I grab. I swipe, swipe, swipe. I manage with this new promo. I feast on this new trailer. I write this meme from Jacob. No, no I'm not laughing at your job. Jacob sent me something funny. I write the concepts and models. I swallow the moves, strategies. I eat threat of AI as close it's already smarter than us. That sounds crazy. Well it's midnight already. I wake up in the morning. I open my eyes. Sun shines and makes me conscious. I realize that I woke up earlier because the dog hadn't started barking yet. I look at Ania, she still sleeps beside. I get up, prepare breakfast, make coffee. I sit and watch how the world awakens to life. Ania has come. We talk about the new book she is currently reading. I say her with every detail, every word, with the sounds leaving her mouth. After the meal, I am checking messages on Facebook. There is a new layout. Before you turn it on you have to write five different things, which you are going to check. It automatically shows you the content you want. The key is, that I know what I'm coming for. Since Facebook had to pay $5 billion for the treatment of internet addiction and had to remove the feed, now I feel here like in a nice bistro. I added back a few of my old friends. We mostly disagree, but I like to discuss with them. I like to know what they think. Awareness is the key. We build bridges between the bubbles. I'm on a new diet, you know, information diet. There is no such thing as too much info though. There's only an ability to say stop and to consciously pick out what and how we acquire. Now I have a spare moment to stimulate my creativity. Thanks to my diet I know exactly how many hits of images and movies I can digest daily, in order to maintain my mindfulness. I don't want to overdoar, no more cheat days. In the end I have only one mind to grasp all those hobbies, work, and family affairs. You can't argue that today information is the least important component of the news feed. I, for example, need to train myself in purposefulness in the web. My coach is teaching me how to focus on things I want to obtain from the internet, specific questions and answers, no meaningless scrolling. I'm sure you know this feeling of free exploration, almost conquering the web, when you're seeking an answer to some without a doubt burning question. Divide the exploration from searching for an answer. No more illusion of multitasking, so he says. Not to forget continuous digestion. That's basic, man. After all that I read and watched I started asking myself, what was this that I just saw? What do I need it for? This almost sounds like a mantra to me now. In my diet there is place for five of those bite-sized interactions with social media. Just a bit to feed my brain with news from the friends that I care about but not to be enslaved by their comments and approval. My dietitian, Balbim C. Uzichaswova coach, trainer calls the candies. All of us consume it, hopefully not exclusively. I feel in control. The information is no longer in charge of me. 